Chief, Chief, Chief Aleo. All right. Who are you? Uh, my name is Jonah Jackson. I'm an artist. I'm an abstract expressionist, a surrealist, a realist, and I would consider I'm all of those in one. What kind of art do you create? Um, I create mainly abstract art. Uh, I do. I try to tie in abstract and realism all in one. I'm trying to find my style still, so kind of like it's kind of like I do a lot of different things. What led you into painting? Like, what are your influences coming from? My influences, yeah. um, I think uh, what influenced me, I think an artist that influenced me was Pablo Picasso, who is somebody that knows nothing about art. I think the first person they would mention is Pablo Picasso, and I feel like he has a name that's well known for art, and I, I feel like I should, I feel like I should try to like strive for something like that. Like I should, sure. I like Do you I remember what it was like putting together your first piece? Um, my first piece, yeah, it was. My first piece, I didn't really know how to paint when I, uh, I didn't know how to paint at all. I was, I was, uh, t I was actually taking on the title of self, I was self-taught, I was self-taught artist. So the first piece I made was a peace sign and uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to like, how to paint. I didn't know like which, I didn't know any techniques. But it was, it was relaxing. That's one thing I can't remember from it. No, I mean, to me, like, painting and drawing is the most difficult thing because the concentration it yeah. takes, like, what do you find the most challenging things when it comes with like working on your art? Uh, the most challenging thing is just like coming up with new ideas, coming up with things that I know I've never seen before and trying to think of something that my audience has never seen before. And not even my audience, just anybody that's looking at my art. For sure. Where do you pull inspiration from? Uh, I pull inspiration from like anything that's going on in my life, like anything that I'm going through. Um, it may not be reflected on the subject matter of what I'm painting, but that's kind of where I pull inspiration from, like anything that's going on in the world or with me. Or right, music. Hey. Uh, now you got a lot of different paintings here. I definitely picked the word abstract to describe them. Which would you say is your top three, like looking around right here hanging up? Uh, my top three right here hanging up? It would have to be, yeah, it would ha actually have to be these three right here. Uh, that one's called Abuse. That one's called um, Show and Tell Me Your Imagination. It's called prayer. You go to school for art. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about that and how it's kind of helped you with your own creations? Right. Uh, well, yeah, I just got my uh, degree in, uh, from the University of Texas at San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I got my degree. I got a bachelor's of arts in, in fine art. And, uh, and yeah, uh, I kind of started that degree um, my junior year. And I was a business That's degree at first. Um, so I kind of switched over the year. I was in and it kind of helped me back a year. So I, I, I lay um, and I did the art degree with like with only two years. I only I completed it in two years, so I kinda rushed my way all the way through my art like school. It made it hard? Yeah, it was definitely hard because I was taking a lot of studio a lot of studio and I was piling them up. I was taking like almost eighteen hours. I was taking eighteen hours, actually I was taking eighteen hours a semester with nothing but art classes. That sounds stressful. Yeah, a lot of people think like a lot of people think like art is like uh, it's easy, like it's an easy major to pursue. And it's really not because a lot of the professors they look for you to like really just it's really not because a lot of, and it's like I couldn't really do some of the things that you see back here, like some of the mm -hmm. abstract stuff. I would have to do like some of the more realistic things. Is it that you say it's more constructive? I would say yeah, I would say it's more constructive and very tedious and top and some But I mean I, what I see a lot of different artists like it feels like stress can either make you or break you at times, like in the sense of where you you so stressed out that it almost puts a block on your creativity mm -hmm. or it puts you in a whole other world where you just kind of can start pulling shit out of your head that you wouldn't even, you wouldn't be able to do without that type of uh, yeah, situation. I, I agree, I agree exactly what you're saying. Like stress, that really helped me make like a lot of good things and it also helped me back from making things too. Mm -hmm. Because with that stress, it kind of, uh, it, it gave me like a, paint, a painter's block or a drawing's block where I didn't know what I wanted to make or, or anything. Yeah. But, once I got out of that painting block, kind of, the stress helped me like build something like something cool. I thought. So from here, I wanted to talk about your book. Like book. when I heard about that, I thought the idea, the concept was loud as fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had anyone trying to get color in it before, so I want to know where did that start from and then the process of creating it. All right, let me let me get like let me get the book. Oh, sure, sure. This one. It's called the Figments of Imagination, the Coloring Book. And this is actually mm -hmm. my actual coloring book, mm -hmm. the one I'm coloring in. And um, uh, 
uh, why I wanted to make a coloring book when I got back, when I moved back to Houston from San Antonio, I was thinking of ways that I could like, um, like I could bring back my childhood memories and things I used to do in my free time. And I felt like uh, making um, coloring books, well, not making coloring books, but coloring in the coloring book, I thought that was like some of the like coolest things I could do. That was like my relaxation when I was a kid. So I was thinking like, man, I should make a color relaxation. And I was thinking like, my very first sketchbook, my very first sketchbook that I had when I started back drawing, it was more like a coloring book. And I pulled a lot of my like drawings out of here from my very first sketchbook. And uh, I was like, man, these are basically, uh, this is already a coloring book. And this was this is like one of the pages, and this is from uh, 20, 2015. This is like one of the pages out of my very first sketchbook. And this is kind of this is the book where I uh, started back drawing. And so this was like, man, I should just pull things from my from my first sketchbook, make it a uh, make it a coloring book, and just make it like my own. And I want, like everything that's that's in this coloring book is kind of like handwritten, and every drawing in here was freestyle. So I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, like I didn't want to go to like a computer. Right. I didn't want to do anything like on a computer. I wanted it to be like, I wanted people to like pick it up, and I wanted them to feel like, all right, he made this. You can hear it by hand. Like, yeah, feel yeah. it by hand. Yeah, you can feel it by hand. Yeah. You can even feel it by hand from like, I mean, you can like you can see it that I kind of drew it because everything isn't even. Can you show some of it? Yeah, yeah. everything isn't even. Mm -hmm. Like the lines are kind of rugged, and I kind of wanted people to just like make their own. You know, even though these lines are here, you can still put whatever you want inside these lines. It doesn't, you don't have to use this as a, a traditional coloring book. You can go ahead and put anything inside of it. You can put it, you know, it don't matter what it is. You can put balloons, you can put, and you just go on and on and on. And I want people to like really like engage in their imagination. I want it to be like a, um, a traditional adult coloring book because I feel like some of those are like super tedious yeah. lines and like super yeah. thin, but like you said, man, it is like super yeah. relaxing and it's, it's an escape. It can be like almost like a drug. And I, I try to I try to get this to like my grandparents so they can like keep them mind. I get this to like my grandparents too because I think these are like really good. I think it could be I think it could be helpful for anybody. I think that's the coolest thing about art is there's no age limit on it. You know what I mean? Right. There's no barrier on type person of art. It's like anyone can engage in it. You just reach in your mind. That shit is dope too. Right, right, yeah. right. And that's and this is not even just a children's coloring book. It's an all ages coloring mm -hmm. book. But kids immediately like from video like like kids with the other body coloring book they immediately adapt to it and they they draw into it. And I don't know. I really don't know what it is, but it's, I really find it cool. That's what's up, man. Um, do you? How do you go about selling them? Selling them? Well, really, right now I'm just selling them like kind of like as if uh, it was sneakers. I'm selling sneakers out of my trunk or something. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of how I'm selling them. Just like hand I'm, I'm going to like meeting up with people, okay. going to them, and people coming to me. Uh, right now I want to get them on my website, but I'm kind of having trouble trying to get that little payment thing. Just trying to figure out the whole little technicalities of putting it on the web on my website. For sure. Like people buying from there. Well, we want to make sure we put your info up, you know, yeah. for anyone like in future references, sure. like email, social media, you can say it in the camera if you want. Yeah, yeah. So this is Figments of Imagination, the coloring book, and uh, this is this is the front cover, this is the back cover. My uh, my website is jonahj.org, that's J O N A H J A Y.org, and my uh, my Instagram is J O N A H. And that's Jonah, and that's my Instagram. And yeah, man, please purchase the coloring book. It's ten dollars for everybody, every age level. This is the back cover, and the inside. This is my first page. So, what are some more future goals you see yourself doing with your art? Future goals? Well, right now, um, I'm trying to get my master's in fine art, so I'm applying to all the schools I, um, I really want to go to, like Pratt, uh, Hunter, and. Claremont, and um, that's that's my next, that's like my future goal, and then like, another one of my future goals is to get my, um, is to open up a museum in Houston, Texas. Right, dope. So yeah, I want to open up my own museum where, not even just a museum, like a gallery, yeah. where I can like, pull from different artists that's local, like in Houston, that's in Texas, like international and global, mm -hmm. and just like kind of host my own show amongst all of those people. And I just kind of be, I'll be like the curator of like that whole gallery and like just putting together a show 
and just bringing more art to the, to the city. Cause I feel like it should be more art here. My name is Jonah Jackson, and uh, I'm a painter. I'm an abstract expressionist. Uh, go follow me on Jonah on at J O N dot A dot H. Purchase a coloring book. If I have one. I will show it to you. Uh, where I put it. But uh, purchase a coloring book. Uh, go check out my website, JonahJ.org. Thank you.